Hey guys, this is Travis Elliott and welcome to Power Yoga, Follow Your Bliss. This class was filmed several years ago at the world famous Brian Kess Santa Monica Power Yoga and I wanted to share this live class with my YouTube community. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and I hope you enjoy your flow. All right, everybody, good afternoon, welcome. Let's go ahead and get started in child's pose. And just clear the head, clear the mind, and clear the way just a sweet dynamic practice today and before we get moving just see if you can just establish a couple things establish that quietness within the mind and establish your ability to just be present you know to just let go of past and future Just allow yourself to drop into that yoga zone. And just feel your mind in that state of ease. And then start dialing into that movement of breath. Coming in and out through the nose. Start dragging those inhales towards the lower lobes of the lungs. So you're breathing in a good four seconds or so. And you're breathing out a good four seconds. So your breath is even. And your mind becomes balanced. And even though, you know, the practice will feel like a roller coaster, you know, where you go up and you go down, and sometimes you twist to the side and then you go upside down in all directions. You know, the, the challenge is to just maintain that inner equilibrium, regardless of what pose or regardless of what sequence we're moving through. Regardless of whether you're nailing a pose or struggling in a pose. You know, to just keep that breath nice and even. Keep that mind nice and steady. And the breath and the mind go together. So, chances are if that breath is fluid and deep and just spilling in and out through the nose. Then your mind will follow suit. So from this point on, just try not to ever let an inhale go by where you're not breathing that oxygen down deep as can be. If you ever need to take a break, just drop those knees and come back to child's pose at any point. This pose is always here for you if you want. So with that breath and that flow, and with that mind deep in that yoga zone, let's go ahead and start to build a flow by coming all the way up onto the knees, all the way up to tabletop pose all fours. And then from tabletop, just lift that left leg off the ground parallel to the floor. Extend your right arm forward all the way out towards that front wall. And then just find a speck on the mat right beneath the eyes. And just fixate your eyes at that point. You know, what your eyes are doing is often a reflection of what's going on internally inside the mind. So let the eyes be steady to, again, just help reinforce the steadiness within. And then with that left hand pressing strong into the mat, both extended limbs drawing out away from each other 
Take one last inhale, pull it out, lift it all up. And then exhale, hand knee foot to the mat. And then switch sides by lifting that right leg up. Extend that left arm out. Keep that breath and that flow. And like a surfer on a wave, good, just see if you can surf that, that, that energy of the pose. So each pose has its own life its own energy, its own arc. And you want to just allow yourself to just kind of ride and dance with that energy. So you balance out effort with allowance. There's just the right amount of space to allow spontaneity to arise. Last inhale, pull out, lift up. And exhale, hand knee foot to the mat. And then let's step back to plank up or push up position. Stacking shoulders above the wrist, driving those legs back, and just finding a diagonal from the heels right through the top of the head. So notice your butt's not sticking up at the same time. You're not allowing your hips to sag down. Okay, one last inhale, plank pose. And then with muscle, lower slowly all the way down onto your belly. Release the tops of the feet. Point your toes towards that back wall, and then lift the hands a couple of inches off the mat. Start lifting your chest up as well, and then find yourself in a floating cobra. You're working those inner elbows towards the ribs, extending your heart forward, and lengthening the neck by taking the top of the neck, extending that forward, let the chin come in a little bit. Now one last inhale, lift up a little more, and then exhale, lower everything back onto the floor. And then reach your arms straight behind you about the width of the shoulders. Shalabhasana, lift the chest, lift the legs off the mat. So you're balancing everything on that low stomach, the low abdominals. Good, really extend back to those arms, those fingers. And just like you're doing heart forward, top of the neck lengthening forward lift up a little bit higher inhale and enhance the cobra resistant on the exhale back and then cobra pose inhale heart glides up shoulders roll back and exhale down dog tuck the toes lift the hips drop the head and just come back to that breath And here it is, everybody, first down dog of the class. You know, I'm not really sure how many more down dogs we flow through, but it's going to be a lot. And uh, each time you flow and weave your way through this pose, you know, it's always a good place to just kind of watch and even enjoy all the shifts that just start to take place. The body starting to warm up. Inevitably, things start to loosen. Things just starting to create loads of space and all that blood all that energy all that breath just spilling through as you accomplish so many different things all at once let's walk the hands all the way back towards the feet all the way to the back of the mat grab your elbows with your hands so you create a box around your head and if you want to sway side to side or lightly bounce up and down to the knees as you coax open the whole entire backside of your body. And this is a great pose that exemplifies the art of surrender, the art of just letting go. Let your torso dangle free with gravity, just hanging out, breathing, allowing the muscles across the back line to start to stretch. Now release the hands down towards the mat. And then bring your hands all the way up to your shins, right beneath your knees, into a very first halfway up flat back. And then start working your heart forward. So it's as if you're just pulling your chest away from that lower back, creating loads of length through every vertebra of your spine. Take another big inhale, heart out. And then exhale, forward fold, melt down. Okay, let's do a few more of those. Inhale, flat back. 
and exhale forward fold just surrender inhale spine draws out and exhale float down good two more inhale spine out and exhale hinge down last one inhale get even more lean and exhale even more depth good put a little bend in the knees bring the hands all the way up to the waist and then grounding through the feet leading through your heart on your next inhale rise and fly both arms all the way up and both hands to prayer right in front of your heart like a walking meditation go ahead and walk slowly all the way forward to the front of your yoga mat close the eyes turn that attention back inward and just feel that unbroken relationship to your own inner center let's chant the mantra om together one time take a big deep inhale through the nose open up the eyes release the arms down by your sides inhale both arms all the way up and exhale forward fold dive down on the out breath flat back inhale hands down spine out and then exhale step back to plank lower down same out breath and then cobra Inhale, chest up, shoulders back. And exhale, down dog. Tuck those toes. Lift those hips. And find that alignment within your dog. Noticing those hands just a tad wider than the shoulders. Good fingers spreading. Inner hands extra strong. Forearms lifting up away from the mat. Outer shoulders rolling back. The hips sloping up as you drive those heels down towards the ground. Good from here, let's start to flow a little bit. Coming into our first warm up series. On an inhale, stretch back, down dog. And then exhale, walk or jump softly top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and fly, both arms up. And exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, both arms extend straight up. And exhale, forward fold, hinge down low. Flat back, inhale, spine draws out. And then exhale, step or jump back, lower down, same out breath. Cobra inhale, slide that body through. And then exhale, down dog. Use the core to pull your hips up. So you wanna take your navel and you wanna lift your navel up towards the front of the spine. And activate that belly lock, or what we call the Uddiyana Bandha. Tops of the thighs pressing vigorously towards that back wall. So you feel the lower back expanding. Feel the lengthening action across the, the lumbar spine. Inner hands still driving strong. Every knuckle glues into the floor. On an inhale, stretch back, sink in. And then exhale, walk or jump both feet through again. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and soar, both arms up. And exhale, hands to prayer, Anjali. Inhale, arms reach up. Feel free to lean back if you like. And then exhale, forward fold, like a moving prayer. Inhale, fill those lungs up with air. And then exhale, step or jump back. Lower down, elbows in. Inhale, sweet back bend. And exhale, down. Downward facing dog. 
Good. Now let's lift that right leg off the mat parallel to the floor. Flex the right foot, right toes down, right heel driving back. Good. See if you can work your left heel closer towards the mat. Notice both hips even with each other. So you're turning your outer right hip down, lifting your inner right thigh up. So both hips are on the same axis, the same plane. Now keeping that right leg lifted up, inhale, slide forward, upper push up. And then chaturanga, lower right above the mat. Inhale, rise straight up. And exhale, press straight back. Take a good by inhale there. And then right foot back onto the mat. Some of you didn't look like you enjoyed that very much. Now left leg off the ground, parallel to the floor. Good, fingers still spreading, inner hand still strong. Just know that your breath is the ultimate companion. Your breath is always there, and regardless of how challenging the pose is, it'll help pull you through, and all things must pass. Nothing's gonna last forever. Keeping that left leg lifted up, inhale, slide forward, upper push up, and then chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, plank, rise up. Exhale, press back. Take a good by inhale there, and then left foot on the mat. Take a big inhale through the nose, and then side out the mouth, just let it go. Fingers spread wide, last round of these. Inhale, stretch back, sink in. And then exhale, walk, or spring, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, dissolve in. Inhale, rise and elevate arms, spine, and mind. And exhale, both hands back to prayer. Inhale, arms reach up, grow long, get tall. And exhale, forward fold. Just move in with the breath. Flat back, inhale the music of the breath. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down. The community of the breath. Inhale, we're all breathing, all flowing. And exhale, you got it. Downward facing dog. Good, from down dog, inhale forward to plank, upper push up. And then chaturanga, exhale lower. Upper facing dog, inhale chest up, thighs off the mat. And then exhale, down dog hips to the sky two more like that inhale forward get strong exhale lower down stay calm inhale bend the spine till it feels spot on and then exhale back down dog once more inhale breath leads the way and exhale down strong core inhale chest up and exhale back down dog take a big inhale stretch back and then exhale, walk or jump, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, hard out. And exhale, forward fold. With the feet together, bend the knees, squat the hips down. And let's come into chair, both arms. All the way up to the sky. But we'll start from the bottom of your body and your feet. We'll work our way up. See if you can bring the weight back into the heels of the feet. Feel your toes light. See if you can draw your knees, your inner thighs towards each other. And as you squat down, feel those glutes waking up. Good, soften the bottom front ribs in. Really draw those elbows towards straight. And then see if you can roll your outer shoulders forward so you broaden through that upper back. Good, spread those fingers wide. Find that gaze, squat down a little bit deeper. Take one last inhale, lift up, and exhale, forward fold. Flat back, inhale, fill the lungs to capacity. And then exhale, step or jump back, lower down gradually. Inhale, heart shines up. And exhale, down dog. Right leg to the sky, inhale. Right foot, top of the mat, exhale. Spin the back foot flat. And then warrior one, inhale both arms. All the way up to the sky. 
and feet spread a good four, four and a half feet apart. See if you can bend your front right knee right above that front right heel. And then let's bring the right hand down to the right hip. Take your left arm, extend it forward, turn your outer left hip forward. Feel that outer left foot ceiling and feel those hips clicking into place as you take that right femur bone and you drag it back into that right hip socket. Now both arms up to the sky, inhale, reach them high, and then warrior two, left arm back, right arm straight out in front of you. Gonna wrap that right hip underneath the knee, firm that left eye in, aim that right knee towards the middle of that right foot, and then flip the right palm to the sky, and then reverse warrior, left hand out or left leg, as that right arm reaches up and back, and you keep shooting that right knee right towards the middle of that right foot. Now wherever you are, take one last inhale, stretch back, and then back to warrior two. Good, you guys. Now let's take the first two fingers on the right hand straight up, the back first two fingers left hand straight down, and then lean forward out over that front right knee, right thigh, as you come into Warrior Two, Bruce Lee style. Not Sarah Lee, but Bruce Lee. So get strong and drive that energy forward. As you clear the path, you remove the resistance and you continue to expand into new paradigms of physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well being. Good. Now, left arm comes down. Reverse circle back, revolve warrior, inhale. And then exhale, vinyasa, cartwheel those arms all the way down on the out breath, slow. Inhale, milk every little motion. And exhale, down dog. Good, left leg up, inhale. Left foot top of the mat, exhale. The back foot flat. And then Vira Bhadrasana one, both arms all the way up to the sky but find your warrior stance find that warrior mentality as you move fearlessly through a practice that's it's not always easy you know sometimes you move through these shapes and you're moving through areas that have atrophied so there's discomfort sometimes emotions come up sometimes you're trying to train your mind not to be so monkey like and to get that mind into that state of one point in this that's not always easy and so it takes that warrior mentality to just work at those things especially the things that maybe we're not so proficient at but if we practice it with consistency then we can transform those weaknesses into strengths for a moment left hand left waist right arm forward drag that out of right hip forward Good, spiral that inner right thigh back and feel that rapport into the floor as that lower body really roots down. Now arms to the sky, inhale, reach them high, and then warrior two, turn that corner. Right arm hovers right above the right leg. Left arm reaches straight out in front. Feel precision within that physical alignment. Feel the integrity through all your joints so you're not collapsing anywhere. And all that prana, all that chi, all that subtle energy can just spill freely through the body without getting obstructed. Now left palm flips up to the sky and then reverse warrior. Right hand out of right leg. Left arm reaches up and back. And then can you send that breath into your left ribs? And as you inhale, can you watch those ribs swing out and expand? Good, feel that rib swing breath. Last inhale there, and then back to warrior two. Good, first two fingers up, back first two fingers down, and then drive that energy forward out over that front left knee, left eye. Good, you feel a little burn arise in that left eye, that's all right. That's just you building a little bit of strength in that muscle. See if you can feel the burn, the fire focus within the mind as you just slice through anything that could be distracting. So you stay in that zone. 
Now right arm comes down, reverse circle back, revolve warrior. Inhale, sweep back. Exhale, vinyasa. Cartwheel those arms and ride that river breath. Inhale with fluidity and finesse. Exhale, down dog. Take a big inhale through the nose and then side out the mouth, let it go. Good, you guys. Now, we're gonna kick it into gear and we're gonna take that and turn that into a second warm-up series flow. So it's a little warrior dance, a little warrior flow to just electrify every cell in the body. Remember though, at any point, you can always drop your knees and take a break. So here we go. Let's rock and roll. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, walk or fly top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold squat. Inhale, chair, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold, head low. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back, vinyasa. Inhale, collarbone spread. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Right foot top of the mat, back foot flat. Inhale, warrior one, rise up. Warrior two, spread out. Reverse warrior, lean back. And then warrior two variation, drive it through. Inhale back, reverse warrior, and then exhale, vinyasa, cartwheel those arms, and harness that breath power. Inhale, lungs full of air, exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg in the flow, exhale, left foot deep as it'll go. Inhale, rise with strength and soul, exhale, spread wide as they'll go. Inhale, lean back till it feels right. Warrior two variation, drive it over front thigh. Inhale, back to reverse. And then exhale, vinyasa, all the way down. Try and keep your elbows in. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, walk or jump top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold squat. Inhale, chair, arms up, fingers spread. Exhale, forward fold, drop that head. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, step or jump back, vinyasa. Inhale, dissolving tensions. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot deep. Inhale, rise and reach. Exhale, open out for freedom. Inhale, lean back for length. Exhale, drive forward for strength. Inhale, come back, hit that perfect spot. And exhale, vinyasa, all the way down with steadiness and poise. Inhale, you got it. Exhale, down dog, other side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot through. Inhale, rise, steady and smooth. Exhale, find your yoga groove. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, drive it through as you clear your path. Inhale, reverse, here you come. Exhale, vinyasa, all the way down. Isn't this fun? Inhale, chest up. Exhale, down dog, last round. Inhale, stretch back, get deep. Exhale, walk, or spring both feet mindfully. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold squat. Inhale, chair, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, that heart rate. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot deeper. Inhale, arms up a little higher. Exhale, spread them even wider. Inhale, lean back, sweep. Exhale, drive it forward deep. Inhale, back, revolve. Exhale, vinyasa, all the way down, fluid. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. 
Exhale, left foot deep. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, drive it through. Inhale, come on back. Exhale, vinyasa all the way down. You made it. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, down dog. Take a huge inhale through the nose. Ah. Good, you guys. Take an inhale, stretch it back. Relax the knees down onto the mat. And then come up on top of your two knees. So just stand on top of your knees. Good. Feel that skin glistening with sweat. Feel that heart rate just pumping all that blood through the body. From here, go ahead and tuck the toes underneath the feet so the heels rise up. Take your arms. Inhale, elevate them above. And then take that right hand. Set it on top of the right heel. Keep that left arm up in the air. Now try and keep your hips right above your knees so your thigh bones are vertical. Your heart pulls up as you ascend up out of your lower back. If it feels okay on the neck, you can look up a little bit. And just feel yourself evolving into your back bend. Last inhale to deepen. And then exhale, come all the way up. Hands back to the waist. Release the tops of the feet. And then extend your right leg all the way over to the right. And if you need to stagger yourself from your neighbor, go ahead. Good. Try and keep your left hip right above that left knee. Take that right hand, slide it down that right leg. And then take your left arm and just start reaching it all the way up and over as you get laterally long across your lap muscle your intercostals your ribs your left waist just getting long getting lean last little reach there come all the way back up and then can you start leaning to your left and then just free fall down onto your left hand as you float your right leg all the way off the ground. Good, left hand descends down, right arm ascends up. It's almost like your arms are wings. See if you can increase that wingspan. Good, now your right leg that's lifted, can you bring that all the way forward towards the front wall, all the way up here? But as you do that, can you keep your tongue in your mouth? That's the hard part. Unless you're trying to look like Michael Jordan doing yoga. Now right leg back over towards that right wall. Now roll that right chest open. And then extend that right arm all the way out towards the left. As we move through a little floor balancing strengthening series. Last little reach there. And then right arm up. You're going to stand all the way back up. And then hands to the waist. Slide that right knee back in. How does he make this shit up? Tuck those toes underneath the feet. Lift those heels up. Inhale both arms all the way up. And then left hand on top of left heel. Right arm to the sky. You see, you get to the point within your yoga practice where you've been doing it long enough where you realize being in a yoga pose is just like being in a situation in life. In some situations you move through, you feel great, you feel strong, you feel comfortable, you feel at home. Other situations, you feel like you want to crawl out of your skin, you feel awkward, a lot of stuff comes up. It's the same thing when you practice yoga and it's like we said at the beginning, you're just trying to keep the breath even, keep that mind in that inner equilibrium regardless of what situation you're in. Because your power doesn't exist within the external things that are happening. It really exists within how you respond to that, how you deal with it. That's what you have control over. Take one last inhale there, and then come all the way back up. Hands to the waist, release the tops of the feet. 
and then just extend your left leg all the way out towards the left. So notice your left toes just pointing straight forward. Your outer left foot seals down. And then left hand slides down that left leg. And right arm reaches all the way up and over. Light art in motion. All about the transitions. How do you weave in and out of the poses? And when you're in transition, do you check out? Are you one of those people that needs to get to the next thing, jump to the next event, cross the next thing off your to-do list? Or can you be very mindful within every microscopic moment? Come all the way back up to middle, arms wide, lean to the right, and just float all the way down onto your right hand, and then lift that left leg up and find that breath. Never holding the breath, never stifling the breath, knowing that your breath is your fuel. You need that fuel. Now bring that left leg all the way forward, all the way towards that front wall, and then flexing through that left foot, driving out through that left heel as you continue to ride the roller coaster today. Left leg back to the left wall, open up the left chest, Extend your left arm all the way over towards the right and get long through that left side. Good, you got one last chance to reach it out. Left arm to the sky. Stand all the way back up to neutral. And then slide that left knee back in, hands to the waist. Release the tops of the feet. Inhale both arms all the way up. Tabletop pose, hands coast all the way to the mat. Shoulders above the wrist, knees beneath the hips. Let's cat and cow. Inhale, heart forward, belly drops. This should feel good. Exhale, round in through every vertebra of your spine. Try that on your own a few more times. Move at your own pace. Feel the meditation and motion. Good. Come back to a neutral spine, neutral table. And then step the feet all the way back to plank, all the way to upper push up. Good. From here, can you lift the right foot off the ground a couple of inches? Back to a one legged plank. Bring your right knee to your left tricep and just hold it there. Left leg's pressing back long. Try not to let your right shoulder hike forward. Keep pulling your right shoulder back. And keep those shoulders right above the wrist. Good, right leg comes back, floating off the mat. Chaturanga, inhale lower. Exhale, press straight up. Right toes on the mat. Good, lift the left leg up a couple of inches. Keep driving through your palms. Left knee, right tricep. Cross it over and under. And notice if your mind wants to run away. Notice if it wants to avoid. See if you can accept where you are and work with it the best that you can. Now left leg back, hovering. Chaturanga lower. Inhale, rise up. Left toes on the mat, back to plank. Take a good by inhale plank. And then down dog, exhale, hips back. Sorry about that, you guys. Now right leg to the sky, inhale, float it up. And then right foot, top of the mat, exhale, runner's lunge. Take an inhale, runner's lunge. And then hop, switch, jump the left foot forward, jump the right foot back. Good, inhale, hold there. And then exhale, hop, switch, right foot through. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hop, switch. One more time, inhale. Exhale, hop, switch. Good, crescent pose. Inhale, rise up. Those were not pretty. But you still made it through. That's all that matters. You did the best that you could do. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with incorporating a little plyometrics into our yoga. Just like an athletic drill to keep that body light like a cat. Now from here, start leaning your torso forward on the inhale, and 
and step up warrior three all the way onto that front right foot right leg you can adjust your arms if you want so you can keep them out in front or you could bring them out wide or you could bring them behind you or you could bring your hands to prayer it's up to you the important thing is that you try and turn your outer left hip down as you lift that inner left thigh up so both hips are neutral now take a good by inhale there to fly and then stand all the way up hands to prayer left foot on the ground good now let's lean into that left foot bend the right heel in towards your right sit bone take your right hand reach back grab the inside of your right foot right ankle Take the left arm, reach it all the way to the sky, pause there. Stay with your breath. Work your inner knees towards each other. And then start leaning forward on the inner. And then draw your right shin towards that back wall on the exhale. Like an archer pulling back a bow in an arrow. If you fall, it's all good. Just fall with a smile on your face. And turn the fall into fun. Just like kids do when they fall when they're practicing yoga, they don't take it serious. It's like a game. So just remind yourself it's only yoga. It's not life or death. Now holding that back right foot, can you lower your left hand all the way down onto the ground, about a foot in front of the left foot, but a little to the left. And if you have a block nearby and you want that, feel free to place that underneath your left hand. Now see if you can spread your right hip open. Notice your breath still in that flow as you come into what we call chapasana, which is a variation of the half moon. Good, speaking of half moon, let's go to half moon. Right leg to that back wall. Good, right arm straight up in the air. And every extended limb draws out away from your trunk. And I can see this practice is challenging my balance, my strength, my flexibility, and my stamina. Now looking down, put a little bit in that left knee, and then float step all the way back to warrior two, and stick your landing. Good, now straighten the front left knee, turn the left foot in parallel to the right foot, and then bring both hands back to prayer, which is always a reminder that when we do do yoga, we shouldn't do it from our brain. We shouldn't be thinking our way through. We should do it from our hearts and just feel our way through. So try and follow your bliss. Follow what feels right for you and get out of the brain, get out of the mind. Just have a deep, visceral experience. Now flick the heels in towards each other, point the toes out, bend the knees, squat the hips down, taking it into horse stance. Inhale, spread the arms out. And exhale, palms together. Inhale, hands to the sky. And exhale, hands down low. Inhale, circle those arms up. And exhale, hands back to prayer. Good, round two. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, elevate. And exhale, ground. Inhale, circle those arms around. And exhale, hands to prayer. One more round. Inhale, arms out. How are those legs doing, by the way? Exhale, palms together. Inhale, hands up. And exhale, hands down. Inhale, circle those arms up. And exhale, hands to prayer. Take a good by inhale there, and then exhale, straighten the legs. Kick the heels out. Spread the arms out wide. Take a huge inhale, lean back, look up. And then exhale, swan dive all the way down to the ground. Good, hands on the floor about the width of the shoulders. Come up onto your fingertips, take an inhale, stretch your heart up and out. And then exhale, palms flat, elbows bent, head dangles free. And in the midst of a dynamic, dynamic yoga flow, 
Just take a few breaths here and just come back. Come back to that breath. Feel that stretch of the inner legs. Feel that stretch across the backs of the legs. Feel that skin just glistening with all that detoxifying sweat. And the wave of breath undulating in and out through the nose. Just reminding you the power of just being present. Of just being in the now. Now walk back towards your right foot. Grab your outer right ankle with your left hand. And bring your right hand behind the right heel or the right calf. And then using both of your hands, nice and easily, just pull your forehead right on top of that right knee, right shin. Just get in there. Give it a little tug. Good. Can you bring the right arm up to the sky? Take a big inhale. Open that right chest wide. And then right hand down to the mat. Walk your torso forward towards your front, left foot, left leg. Spin the left toes forward. Pivot onto the back right toes, runner's lunge. Now step the right foot forward, all the way to the top of the mat to meet the left. And then flat back. Inhale, decompress. And exhale, forward fold, bend the knee, squat down. Good, chair pose. Inhale, arms all the way up. And then hands to prayer in front of the heart. Now bring your left elbow to your outer right knee, right thigh, into chair twist. Get heavy in those heels. Stay light in those toes. Drag those hands back. Extend that spine up and out. Keeping that breath steady. From here, go ahead and lift your left foot off the ground. Good, now check this out, you guys. This is called supreme balancing from here. Extend your left leg back without lowering your left foot on the mat. Now bring your left knee to your right calf. Give that a little touch. Good. Extend that left leg back without touching the mat. Left knee, right calf. Give it a little touch. Good. Left leg back. Extend long. Now drop the left toes all the way down to the ground into lunging prayer twists. Why do I have the feeling that I was the only one doing that? Good, turn your belly towards that inner right thigh. See if you can power back through that left leg super long. Give it as much juice as you can. And then rock it that spine up and out. Good, roll those right ribs open to the sky. And then wherever you are, give it one last twist, goodbye. And then crescent, inhale, both arms shine straight up. Exhale, vinyasa. All the way down in the flow. Inhale, chest, lungs, heart open wide. And exhale, down dog. Take a huge inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, stick out the tongue, lion's breath. Mm. Good, you guys. Let's try this a little balance and down dog. Lift your left leg off the ground parallel to the floor. Extend your right arm forward towards the front wall. Right arm lifts up, reaches forward. Good. Remember, if you fall, just fall having fun. It's all part of the experience. Good. Left foot, right hand returns onto the floor. And then lift that right leg up. Extend that left arm out. I know it's not easy, right? But the good thing is, is in order to do this right now, your brain has to work in overdrive. So it's like doing push-ups inside of your brain. Now left hand, right foot, release down, down dog. Good, lift that left leg to the sky, inhale. And then left foot, top of the mat, exhale. Take an inhale there, runner's lunge. Hop, switch, jump the right foot forward, left foot back. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hop, switch. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hop, switch. Inhale, hold. Exhale, hop, switch. Good, crescent pose. Arms all the way up. That was awesome, you guys. Good job. Take a moment, just get adjusted, get acclimated, get centered. And start leaning that torso forward on the inhale. Step up, warrior three, on the exhale. 
just like a missile rocketing through the sky, like a torpedo just shooting through the ocean. See if you can get aerodynamic. With that piercing focus, take a good buy and hell there, and then stand all the way up, right foot on the mat, hands to prayer in front of the heart. You know, you could say yoga is about meeting adversity with equanimity. Moving through those highs, the lows, the ups, the downs with that steadiness of mind. Leaning into your right foot, that's your fresh leg. Start bending your left heel in towards your left sit bone. Take your left hand, reach back, grab the inner left ankle or foot. Feel your knees drawing in towards each other as if they both had magnets inside of them and that magnetic force was pulling them towards each other. The right arm to the sky. On the inhale, start leaning forward. And then on the exhale, even it out by drawing your left shin back. It's like a seesaw. You don't want to go too far one direction. You don't want to go too far the other way. So you really have to find the fulcrum. You have to find that middle point. And in order to do that, you got to be very present. You got to be very focused. I mean, it's not like you can be thinking about things that are outside of what you're doing. Because if you do, that's where you come out. Now, can you lower that right hand all the way down in front of that right foot slightly to the right? Just doing the best that you can do. And then see if you can land right into Chapasana. Good. So spread that left hip open. Keep that breath and that flow. And wherever you're at is exactly where you're supposed to be. Now half moon. Left leg back wall. Left arm all the way up to the sky. Ardha Chandrasana. We're not here that long, so get it while you can. And just keep sucking that air so low that you feel the oxygenation penetrating into your bones. Now start bending that bottom right knee and then float step all the way back to warrior two, light and free. Good, straighten that front right knee, right leg. Turn the right foot in parallel to the left and then bring your hands behind the low back, interlace the fingers. Take an inhale, lean back, chest up. And then exhale, fold all the way over and down. Oh. Good, you guys. Try this. Try turning your chin towards your left shoulder. And then peel your left shoulder back. Open up through that inner left chest. Should feel nice. And chin over by the right shoulder. Pull that right chest, right shoulder back. Just bring in suppleness, agility, flexibility to every link of your bodily chain. Now coming back to the middle, take a good by inhale, sink in, and then hands to the waist on the exhale. Grounding through the feet, leading through the heart. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Good. Flick the heels in towards each other. Point the toes out. Bend the knees. Squat the hips down low. So in yoga, we have what's called the prana vayus. Prana is life force or vitality. It's like chi in martial arts. And vayu means wind. So it's the winds of energy, the winds of life force. And it's kind of common sense. You have energy that moves out, energy that moves in, energy that moves up, energy that moves down. But you also have energy that circles around. This next movement activates all those prana values. Bring the hands to prayer in front of your heart. On the inhale, spread the arms out. And exhale, palms together. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. You're going to lean back by that left foot. Inhale, reverse circle all the way up. Exhale, over and down. Inhale, reverse, and exhale, over and down, come back up, and then round two. Inhale, open out, 
and exhale, going with the flow. Inhale like a leaf in the wind. Exhale, hands down, lean back by that left foot. Inhale, circle up. Exhale, over and down. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, over and down, back up, hands to prayer. One more time, the power three. Inhale, open out. And exhale, consolidate it in. Inhale, up to the heavens. Exhale, down to the earth. Inhale, circle it around. Exhale, over and down. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, down, hands to prayer. Take a good by inhale there. And then exhale, straighten those legs. Kick those heels out. Spread those arms out wide. And then bring your hands to the low back. Imagining that you have pockets on your shorts or your pants. You're sliding your fingers into your pockets. The heel of the hand braces the low back. Rooting down through the feet. Just start leaning back. Lift that chest up. Roll your inner elbows towards each other. And then feel the expansion right in the center of your chest. In yoga, there's a word, a mantra connected to this part of our body, and that mantra is Yam, Y-A-M. Let's chant that one time like we would chant an own Big inhale through the nose. Yam. Good inhale, come up. Exhale, fold down. Let the hands slide down the outer legs all the way to the outer feet. And with a wide grip, on an inhale, stretch the heart up and out. And exhale, pull the crown of the head down. Use those hands as leverage. Sink deep, deep into the tissues. As you move deeper into the earth of the body, deeper into the sea of the heart, deeper into the ocean of the mind, through that inward plunge, also deepening relationship to self. The yogis believe that until we start to really walk down that path of self-realization, then we're just meandering through life, completely lost, without a compass path of self-realization is why we're here. We're here to walk that path. We're here to really discover our truth. And that's something that we have to find on our own. We're not going to get it from outside of ourselves. Release the feet. Crawl yourself back by that left foot. And then grab the outer left ankle with the right hand. Bring the left hand behind the left heel or calf. Use both hands. Just pull that forehead right on top of that left leg. As you do that, try not to let that right hip come with you. But try and keep those hips in that neutral position. that right hand where it is. Take that left arm, reach it up to the sky. Left arm. Inhale, open up. And exhale, left hand back down to the mat. Take your time, crawl forward all the way towards your front right foot. Spin the right toes forward. Pivot onto the back left toes. And then step the left foot forward all the way to the top of the mat. Good, flat back, inhale, stretch the heart up and out. And then exhale, forward fold. Spread the feet to the outsides of your yoga mat. Turn the toes out 45 degrees. And then yoga squat. Take a seat all the way down between your feet. Hands to prayer in front of your heart, palms pressed together. You can either stay here, or if you want to do a little balance, we'll come into crow. So hands on the mat, the width of the shoulders. Come up onto the tips of the toes. Take your inner knees, climb those up the arms. Shift that weight forward. Lift the feet off the ground, big toes together. 
gaze slightly forward, keeping that breath in the flow, and then see if you can soften your face. One last inhale, crow, and then back to yoga squat, feet flat, hands up to prayer in front of the heart. That was beautiful, you guys. Even those of you that didn't do a damn thing. Take a good by inhale yoga squat. Hands to the mat, straighten the legs, fold over and down. Turn the toes in, feet parallel to each other, feet about the width of the hips. And then lift the toes off the mat, slide the hands deep underneath the bottoms of the feet. Once you wedge them in there deep, take an inhale, pull the spine up and out. And exhale, fold right on top of those legs. And feel that wondrous stretch from the heels all the way through the top of the neck, the base of the skull. Good, release the hands from underneath the feet. And then heel toe the feet all the way together, side by side. And then flat back, inhale, heart out. Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees, squat the hips down. And then chair, inhale, ukatasana. And then hands to prayer in front of the heart. Right elbow to outer left knee, left eye. So chair twist to the left. As we come into our last couple standing poses, this is it. And then we're coming down onto the mat. So the end is there. Let's see if you can finish strong. Try lifting your left foot up or your right foot up as you balance on your left foot. So right foot floats up. And then can you extend the right leg back without having the right foot on the ground? Now bring your right knee to the back of the left knee. Give a little touch. Extend the right leg back. Keep floating. Right knee back of left knee. Awesome. Now right leg back. This time lower the right toes all the way onto the mat to a lunge. Lunging prayer twist. You got five counts here. Dry back to that right leg like a thunderbolt one. Good, extend that spine far to eternity and beyond for two. Good, draw your navel towards that inner left eye three. Through the twist, you detoxify four. Now come up to crescent, inhale five, both arms shine up. And exhale, vinyasa all the way down without collapsing inhale chest up and exhale down dog take a big inhale through the nose oh. mm. and there it is everybody the last down dog of the class very very nice with those arms strong take one last inhale stretch it back Relax the knees down onto the mat. Walk your knees forward to the top of the mat. Cross the feet behind you. And then release down onto your sit bones. And then bring the soles of the feet together, toes forward, heels in. Grab the feet, drag them in deep. Inhale, elevate that chest up. And then exhale, just fold down. Just fold down. Feel that stretch right into the inner legs. And more important than how low you come down is really how far can you extend your spine out. Because if you're trying to pull your third eye out beyond your big toes, and you use your breath, so the inhales you lengthen the spine forward and out, and the exhales you let the chest melt down. Take a few more breaths there. Good. From here, slowly ease your way all the way up to seated. Bring the hands to the outer knees. And then just close the knees together like you're closing up a big book. Grab your hamstrings, the backs of the legs. And just float your shins off the mat. Take your arms, extend them forward. 
Take your legs, extend them out as you come into bow pose. Now check this out, keeping your chest lifted up where it is. Can you lower your legs down on an inhale towards the mat? And then bring the legs up to meet the chest one. Inhale, legs only. Exhale, legs up two. Inhale, legs only. Exhale, legs up three, two more. Inhale, legs down. Exhale, legs up four, one more. Inhale, legs. And exhale, legs up. Good. Now keep the legs up. Chest down, inhale. And then chest up, one. Inhale, chest down. Good. Exhale, chest up, two. Inhale, you got it. Exhale, rise, three. Inhale, two more. Exhale, chest up, four. Inhale, use that breath. Exhale, rise, five. Now let's do both. Inhale, chest and legs down. Exhale, everything up, one. Inhale, down. Exhale, get up, two. Inhale, down. Exhale, dig deep, three. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise, four. Inhale, almost there. Exhale, five. Hold there, bring the hands together. Interlace all the fingers but the indexes. And then twist all the way to the right. In the midst of intensity, can you find the inner stillness and serenity? Good, now all the way over to the other side. I know you're at your edge, the end is near. Stay with that breath, come down the middle. Separate the hands a little wide. Take one last inhale, lift it all up. Exhale, lower down. Woo. Mm. Reach forward. Grab the shin, squeeze those thighs deep in. Rock that lower back side to side. Massage that kidney man. Slide the hands down the legs, grab the outer edges of the feet. And then happy baby, what goes up must come down. Let's initiate the descent. And after all the yang and tent stuff that you move through, this descent is definitely well needed if we want to achieve balance. Pull those thighs down, sink deep into those hips, and just send that breath right to sensation, right to what you're feeling. Good. Bring the inner knees back together to the belly. And then gently rock the legs all the way up over your head towards the back wall into plow pose. And then hands to the low back for support. Lightly float both legs all the way up to the sky and to shoulder stand. As we send that memo to our nervous system, hey, we're winding down. We're on the descent. So how about telling the blood pressure to drop a little bit? How about telling the heart rate to decrease? And how about just letting the whole body know that, that we're moving towards relaxation? So instead of being in the sympathetic nervous system, we shift into the parasympathetic nervous system. And all the stress hormones, all the cortisol, all that just drops. As you allow the endorphins and the serotonin and all the nutrient-rich blood that you awaken to just flush through vital organs. Take one last inhale, stretch up through the feet, and then nice and easily back to plow. Let the legs drift up over the head. Extend the arms out in front of you along the mat, and then start rolling out through every vertebra of the spine. And as you roll out, allow yourself to roll up all the way up to seated. All the way up to seated. And then let's have the left leg out in front of us 
grab the right foot, lift the right ankle up, and just set it right on top of your left knee. And then bend the left foot underneath the right knee, right thigh into double seated pigeon pose. But if you need to modify, you can either come to comfortable cross-legged seated or you can cheat it a little bit and you take your left ankle and you slide it more on top of your right calf. Or you could even sit on a block or a blanket, elevate the hips up. But once you get set, both arms up, inhale, reach tall. And then exhale, fold over and down to your own personal degree. You know, I love that expression that comparison is the thief of joy. It's so true. It's so true, especially in yoga. Why would we ever compare ourselves to what people are doing around us? So whether you're two inches folding down or two feet folding down, it's all good. You have your own unique anatomy, your own unique personal history, your own unique DNA. So you just tailor the pose to your uniqueness. And that's the beauty of yoga. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's the exact opposite. It's about adapting it to your specific needs. Go ahead and ease your way all the way back up to seated. Extend both legs straight out in front of you along the mat. This time, keep the right leg out in front, but grab the left foot. Set the left ankle on top of the right knee or thigh. And then bend that right foot underneath the left knee. So double seated other side. When you're ready, arms to the sky and hell reach up. And exhale, fold over and down. If you do find that your head's making it pretty close to the floor and you have a block nearby, it might feel really good to grab the block and just put it underneath your forehead. Just let the weight of the head just be supported. And that'll continue to facilitate that parasympathetic response and just make sure that the mind doesn't start to wander off and that you don't lose that that thread of focus and if you do no big deal just bring it back Awesome, you guys. Nice focus. Go ahead and ease your way all the way back up. Extend both legs straight out in front of you. Inhale, both arms straight up. And exhale, fold over and down. And the seated forward bend. You got your body nice and warm today. And now we're just trying to capitalize on that warmth you nice and open, nice and elastic. And there's no doubt that you definitely sweated a lot today. You just want to make sure that we get you nice and clean. So that when you drink all those beer margaritas on July 4th, it'll go straight to your head. If you're wondering what a beer margarita is, Google it. Keep those hands where they are. Take a big inhale, extend that spine up and out. 
And then exhale, fold in just a little bit deeper. Take your time, slowly ease all the way back up. And then release all the way onto your back, all the way down onto your mat. As you get onto your back, reach for it, grab your shins, squeeze your thighs deep in. And then keep it that right knee hugged in. Extend your left leg forward along the mat. Open the right arm out towards the right. Just let your right knee fall gently all the way over to the left into a last bent knee reclining spinal twist. And I know for myself, you know, when I'm in practice and I get to this moment, usually I just feel a lot of gratitude. Gratitude that I made it through but also gratitude that I carved this time out of my day to, to invest into my own health and wellness. Because we all have such busy lives and a lot of responsibilities, a lot of demands. It can be hard. It can be hard to juggle all those balls. But I know every time that I carve that time out of my day to do this, the payback is huge. Right knee all the way back up to neutral. Squeeze the right thigh back in. And then bring the left thigh in to join. Extend the right leg out. Open the left arm out to the left. And then let that left knee drape all the way over to the right. Same thing. Other side. Left knee back up to the midline. Squeeze both the left and the right thigh into the belly. And then finally, big inhale, curl the forehead up to the knees. Give your whole body a big squeeze. And exhale, shavasana. Release. Relax. All the way down onto the ground. Just find that final comfortable resting position. Close the eyes. Let the breath soften. Just let yourself just slip deep into relaxation. Just soak up all the good vibes that you just produce. Shavasana.
just real gradually just start to shift back into the body by lightly moving the fingertips the toes around just to reactivate physical sensation and then reach the arms all the way up over the head interlace the fingers turn the palms inside out and as you stretch back through the arms stretch the feet forward and just give yourself a full body stretch almost like you're waking up for the second time today and then reach forward grab the shins squeeze the knees the thighs into the belly and then gently rock and roll your way all the way up into a last final cross-legged seated position as you get up to seated bring the hands up to prayer sit up tall slightly bow the forehead down much health much wealth much love to you have a beautiful rest of your wednesday thank you for bringing those incredible vibes namaste all right you guys i hope you enjoyed that sweet 90 minute power yoga class drop me a comment down below and let me know how your practice was remember to hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you soon down the road